more interesting was a story that happened the other day with this guy called Terrell Lewis, who's, I don't really know that much about him, but having done a bit of research online, he happens to be like a, a personality of sorts on social media. Um, I'm assuming um, he was uh, someone related to gangs, um, went into prison early in life and then came out and kind of reformed himself. And underneath his kind of moniker of being fit and having a strong mind, body and soul, he's been able to kind of inspire a whole group of people all around the internet webs and in real life uh, to kind of take control of their lives. Right. Because he's got his outdoor Jimmy thing he does in Brixton. I saw clips of. So in general, it seems like a really positive dude that's trying to make change in his community instead of com complaining about shit. Right. So um, he's on a train somewhere outside of London and um, an argument ensues on a train where I think there's a boy sitting on a train and he has a free seat next to him. I think he has a bag on it. Let's say he has a let's say he has a bag in this story. He has a bag or something on the seat. A woman wants to sit down. They get into an argument um, and they know to kind of like um, diffuse the argument. The black dude, um, Terrell, um, uh, who I'm mentioning now in the story, the kind of like, you know, quote unquote motivational speaker. Um, he kind of comes from the other side of the train, decides to sit on the uh, on the kid's seat in order to kind of like diffuse the argument and say, look, I'm with him, don't worry, he's saving it for me, blah, blah, blah. And then it kind of erupts into a, another uh, another argument. So I'll play the video here so you guys can see it, but this is kind of the, the, the gist of what happened. And then we can kind of talk a little bit about the ensuing backlash that happened on the back of it. It's on Worldstar, so you know, you know it's real. Put this on here, show it there. Is it on there? Show, yep. Let's go here, play. Come on, play. Oh, come on, play. This computer, there you go. Stop Snapchatting me. so the guy's got his bag there and then she decides to slap him because he sees him recording him on snapchat which is you know physical assault hey So then, so they had an argument, right? Um, she, the girl, the boy's got the, the bag on the chair. Um, the woman obviously is, I don't know, it starts off already contentious, right? There's an argument there. The guy decides to try to try to diffuse it by sitting down next to the dude and saying, look, he's with me. They, they decide to have an argument. She's getting rude, so he decides to record her because everyone does the record. Could the recording thing, again, even if she's a bitch, right? I think the recording thing just sets the wrong tone. It automatically gets someone's back up. Because it's like you're looking for them to fuck up, right? It's like a, it's like a cue. Like you put a phone in someone's, you put a phone in someone's face. It's sort of like, go on, be racist. Come on, say something contentious. Come on, fuck yourself over. Come on, right? It's, it's you're sort of goading them into it. I, I can kind of have sympathy a little bit with a woman just because of that regard. But th what happens afterwards is no excuse. Right before I can have an understanding that she's getting annoyed that this guy is recording her and he's trying to kind of um, go her into response and he's you know he's being a bit he's being a little bit antagonizing without saying much I can get it but what happens after this right what happens after this is inexcusable right and this woman should be um, I don't know man what what you deserve when you do something like this. it's like you deserve the worst thing, the worst thing, you deserve it, right? So the the, the video continues. So if you're listening via, via the podcast, you know, you might have heard. So the woman, they're having an argument. It, it, the argument diffuses. The, the video cuts and you hear the announcer on the train, who's also a young lady, you know, saying with some sort of glee in her voice that the train will not be moving until these two gentlemen alight or get off the train, which two gentlemen being the ones that are on camera or one that's on camera and one we can't see off camera. 
which then makes you think, huh, what the fuck's going on, right? Like, the woman was the aggressor in this thing for the most part. She hit the dude, right? The dude was just recording her because she was being obtuse, right? And then she decided, what, now some, suddenly those two guys have to get off the train. That's not fair, right? Already. So let the video continue and you'll see why it's more than not fair. Did I, did I do anything wrong? No, mate. <laughs> did I do anything wrong? Well, please, gentlemen, I'll be leaving the service. We're worried. Continue our journey towards London Eastern, but until this point, unfortunately, this train is a stunt and poverty. Wow. Well, tell him to stop. No, no, no. no. no he, needs, he needs to go. No, no, tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. Wow. So do you hear that? Do you hear that? So the lady who got into an argument with these two guys because they took up a seat, right? So imagine this is the this is the depth of the argument. Say what you want about the him recording, putting a video, right? Again, like I said, video cameras, uh, someone taking out their smartphone and recording you. I think, especially if you've seen the videos that I've seen on the subreddit Public Freakout, right? There's a there's there's a there's a there's a um, there is a type of person that exists out there who is a fucking loser, right? Who has nothing going on in life, who goes around goading people into into kind of freaking out in public, right? So they can post it on online and show how bad, bad person they are, right? Case in point, that crazy old lady who um, rides her mobility scooter on the pavements and screams and hollers anyone gets anywhere in you know even situ of the pavement you know sites flipping uh traffic laws and that stuff there's the other there's that cyclist dude there's one in england and one in america who has a gopro on his head and is constantly kind of like tick doing giving people fake tickets when they're you know and incre encroaching on the cycling lane there's those um social justice warriors when they're protesting and they put a camera in someone's face and you know to go them into response so they can hit them as whatever people do this thing a lot right so say what you want about the smartphone right um um kind of antagonizing or making somebody uh react in a certain way what she done after the fact right is heinous right is disgusting and despicable right she has an argument with two guys on a train because they're not letting up a seat right their seat's free and they don't want her to sit down or, and she you know maybe she, maybe she dropped maybe she's not i don't care about that whole fact maybe it does have some relevance maybe it does have relevance but essentially the argument is that they are protecting a seat that you want to sit down and they don't want and you and you want to sit on it so you you know have a back and forth with them and because you lost the argument right because you were made look, to look silly in public because you felt a bit embarrassed or because you you know um you lost face you then go and accuse them of sexual assault. Sexual assault. Not, oh, go to the conductor or go to a ticket attendant or go to one of the security staff and say, that guy's a fucking dickhead. I was trying to sit down. He won't let me sit down on the seat. Boys these days are rude. Blah, 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 blah. Which is more than fine, right? Call him any name under the sun. He's big head. Who's he think he is with his beard? Who whatever. Say what you want about the dude. Cuss the kid as well. Whatever, right? Like, insult them. But to accuse them of sexual assault in this current climate is, 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 is disgusting. It's disgusting. It really is disgusting, right? Because she knows the power that that statement has, that allegation has. She knows what she's doing. She knows by saying sexual assault, she's effectively letting off a grenade on a, on a packed train and closing the doors, right? She knows because no one, no, no one that's what, no one that's not in that carriage, no one that wasn't in, in within that vicinity is ever going to say anything different. Luckily, the guy recorded it. Luckily, it was on the packed train. Luckily, um, he was sitting down. So the likelihood of you sexually assaulting a woman who was standing up on a packed train when you're just sitting down and recording the whole situation is very unlikely right because the whole point of sexual assault is that you do it in secret right you do it somewhere where no one's seeing you or you do it in a crowded place or whatever right there's you need to have contact with the person but for the most part this dude sitting down with his back to the girl right who's standing beside him on the in the kind of um uh in the alleyway or in a kind of you know in the walk path in between the seats so where is he meant to even sexually assault this person but if you're not there you're gonna believe it right so unfortunately the ticket attendant the, the the train operators even though the woman was being snarky on the flipping um uh, announcing uh, thing right she was kind of like she immediately kind of went with oh, i believe all women right kind of tone and even though the dude you know had to go you know one of the conductors i'm assuming or the drivers of the train had to come and uh, say why the train was being stopped even though he had to say what he had to say it's disgusting man it's fucking disgusting and luckily luckily again 
I'm not a fan of the whole taking out your smartphone during an argument, right? Because again, I, I just think it it ramps up beef, right? I think it's it's equivalent to a guy taking off his shirt before when he's arguing, right? You just you want we have, we have to fight now, right? It's unlikely that you see a video of the two dudes um, hooting and hollering or shouting at each other and arguing, and one takes off his top and they don't fight. They have to fight, right? The moment you take off your top, you're declaring war, right? You're ready to go, right? And you just know what you're saying. You know the strength of, of your words, especially in a me too, in a currently in a me too moment with people, you know, saying you should believe all women. This is why you shouldn't believe anyone, anyone man woman you shouldn't believe anyone this is why you shouldn't believe anyone you shouldn't believe them right if you have a dog you know those videos you see of dogs where they trash a whole apartment and then they're in the corner like being all shy because they know they fucked up right they know they made a, a, a really big dude and they're trying to or you see other videos where a dog kind of eats something he's not meant to eat and then he kind of acts like he didn't do it and kind of walks off like it wasn't him right you don't believe the dog right you still chastise the dog for doing a fucked up thing right um so if you don't believe dogs, you don't believe your own pets, why would you believe a human being who has the worst recollection of events ever known to man, right? Our brains are un uncapable or incapable, right, of piecing together events that happened to us let 24 hours ago, let alone years ago, right? We're, un we're incapable of doing it in a in a correct way, in a way that is balanced or in a way that accurately describes what happened, which is why we have the court of law. So we can somehow ascertain through various bits of information from my story to your story to witnesses' stories. And then we can form some sort of timeline that will give us a probability scoring, right? Because usually most guilty verdicts aren't like guilty, guilty. They're mostly like, okay, more than likely you did this crime. And they then give you a sentence that kind of reflects the likelihood of you doing the crime, right? So if this 100%, you know, you got blood on your hand, blood smeared all over your face, and there's a body in front of your, uh, on, um, at the bottom of your feet, and ascertain that you're the one that bludgeoned the person to death, you know, you're most likely going to get the full punishment. But if they can't place that you were in the, you were in the household, whether or not you had the force or the power in order to kind of, ex um, uh, exert that kind of violence on that person whether or not you knew them how how can they make sure you're guilty because somebody accused you of it it's impossible to do that and this lady did the same thing but then she knows in this current moment you have to you have to because you know i would do the same thing you have to side with the woman immediately you have to kind of be like okay dude i don't believe that this one might be crazy but i'm gonna have to look into it you just have to do that right and she knows that that already is enough to kind of sow a seed in people's head like Rah, maybe he did it you know this guy has got a bit of a history with girls anyway but i don't know whatever i don't know this dude i don't know anything about him but imagine there's a story out of him out there already that exists that he had a contentious relationship imagine he had a a violent relationship on both sides because it does that that happens in life right you can have relationships in both sides you can have a relationship you can have you, you we all know girls and boys who tend to always go for the person that's the most volatile the most argumentative we know that right we know we've all got friends that do that kind of thing so imagine you're that person who's unlike who kind of you know it's not your own fault but you have a you have a desire to always go out with somebody that is very argumentative that causes you stress but you have the most amazing sex in the world right and then unluckily you get accused of something and they try and link the fact that you tend to go out with crazy women or you tend to go out with crazy dudes and say that can somehow relate to the situation that you're currently in now when the person is making the story up completely it's a figment of their imagination and it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. So I let this video play out a little bit more, but she accuses these two guys of sexual assault. The train stops. They can't move. They're saying they have to get off the train and wait for the police to come. Insane. Ridiculous. Of a drunk, of a drunk person, of a drunk person, mate. No, but look how many witnesses. That's what we're trying to have to say, okay? There's a lot of people saying that you're going to do anything wrong, okay? Yeah. So we're going to try and find this out, okay? Alright, so, 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 so I can leave my bag there, right? Bring it off. So what is it? Why would I have to bring it off? I need to get home. This is what I'm trying to, to say to you, okay? Home. So, disgusting, so they get...
So they get taken off the train, right? They get they get taken off the train. So yeah, so they get they get taken off the train. Um, because of this lady accused him of sexual assault, the police have to do their job. Unfortunately, right? It's a, it's just disgusting, man. I'm just it just frustrates me so much, man. Imagine if, if this guy didn't record it. So they get take off the train. Luckily, they ascertain that it didn't happen. Uh, the police are fucking legends, and they drive both uh both guys down back down to London, right? In for the you know for the stress cause and whatever. But thankfully, the dude kind of uh continues with his kind of you know um vengeance to kind of get revenge on this lady for what she done and then he releases an update video that kind of details that unfortunately the woman lost her job um off the back of everything but you know if ever there was somebody that fucking deserves to lose their job it's this flipping you know mug but yeah so he makes an update video here just been informed that the lady has been fired um, I don't wish bad upon people but after this woman's disgusting attitude and the way she tried to make false allegations obviously she made false allegations about sexual assault you know when there was a full train of witnesses defending our innocence you know this woman has to be made an example of and there's a lot of men sitting in jail right now for something that they never done so I'm glad I and I'm glad that I recorded it. You know, if I never recorded it and it was just me, that woman and her friends and the the young you on the train, I'll be in jail right now, and the young you will be in jail as well. You know, and no one would know the full story. They'll be they'll be killing us in the newspapers right now. So, which is very, 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 very true. He, if he, if he's as big as a person as it seems that he is, because his story gained a lot of traction online, it went viral very, very quickly then he would have got absolutely dragged in, in the internet. And again, like I said, if he had any past relationships where a lady accused him of violence or any sort of thing, they would have immediately made the connection and said that, yeah, he's shown a preclusion for it. It's just a fucking awful, awful situation. But again, man, like, I just... I would like to believe that most women are... It's unlikely that most women will make false accusations, right? So there is a bit of value or there is a bit of... Um, credence to the whole aspect of like believing a woman maybe you should right because it's unlikely that a woman would go through all that public humiliation right because effectively when you're admitting to a, a sexual assault you're not only trying to um get justice you're not only trying to make sure that person never does it to anyone again effectively you're resigning yourself to becoming a sexual assault victim right that's the label you're going to be for forever right it's a, especially for the media i think for the general public we don't really give a shit but i think you're going to be portrayed always as the sexual assault victim right and even if you're not an activist you're going to be thrust into the activism activism role you're going to be told to speak for all women when maybe you don't want to speak for all women you just want to tell your own experience so there's a lot of things that come with it that a lot of women are aware of right and i'm sure a lot of them know that you can't come out with frivolous accusations because if you get proved to be wrong, then the public should also chastise you in the same way. So I'd like to believe that most women aren't going to lie because you have to go through so much shit. I don't know. You only have to watch documentaries on um, on rape victims to find out you know, the ludicrous laws that are in place or the ludicrous procedures that they do to ascertain whether someone got raped, right? The, the fact that most rape convictions don't actually even happen, right? There's so many things that go against a woman to uh, accuse someone of sexual assault that nowadays with the Me Too movement, what that's actually done is that even if you can't get a conviction, what you do is that you effectively publicly shame the accuser, right? Or the assailant, right? You publicly shame them. So you, you effectively resign them to losing their job, losing their status, whatever it may be, right? You strip them of, you strip them of the things that they hold dearest because they violated you in some way, shape or form. So that's kind of like a weird sort of like social justice with that we've kind of like enforced, right? Sometimes it can get a bit crazy with the whole Kavanaugh thing, you know, like... Um, where we, we can't really make heads or tails of what really happened or whatever. But for the most part, I would like to believe that most women are telling the truth, right? They're not going to go out there and tell stone cold lies. But I would also like just a bit of, a bit of parity, a little bit of um, fairness when it comes to if somebody can lose everything, right, on an accusation, someone should be able to lose everything if, if the accusation is completely false. That's it. I don't really mind... It's weird to say I don't really mind if somebody gets accused of something allegedly, right? Even if it's not been proven, because sometimes it's hard to prove these things. It happened years ago. But if there's if there's a pattern, if there's six or seven people coming out saying the same sort of thing, there has to be some... Where there's smoke, there's fire, right? You have... If there's a one-off thing, right, I think it can be a little bit annoying. A one-off thing that you did, um, even... I, I guess if it's not rape, if it's a one-off thing that you were sleazy and you touched on maybe women when you were really young or whatever it may be, a one-off thing, right? You should be punished accordingly. 
But if it's also been ascertained that the person lied, right, made up the complete story, there should be punishment in the same regard too. But we don't have the same sort. We don't have that kind of recourse. It doesn't really exist in the same way that if someone gets accused of a crime, um, the accusation probably gets more column inches than the retraction, right? When newspapers make retractions, who sees it? No one sees it, right? Everyone sees the front page news most more likely, not, which is why most celebrities go after these newspapers in court to gain more public awareness and to kind of drag them their name in the dirt the same way their name got dragged in the dirt. But I don't know, man. I'm just... If you're that girl's friend, man, like, what do you... Like, that's disgusting what she did, man. She tried to end these... And again, I'm not sure... I think that the 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 thing with the black dude in front of the apartment block in america i can kind of get more than this because i i can kind of accept that that woman wasn't racist because she just got into an argument and wouldn't let go right like i said in the other video i think she was a dog with a bone right she no you know when you're going you're coming out your flat someone's trying to go in but they don't have a key fob it's happened to me sometimes before and i've got into the kind of back and forth with somebody um and then one of you doesn't want to let go Right, because you both have a reason. He's trying to get in because he's in the key fob, and he knows he shouldn't really be able to get in because he doesn't have a key fob. But then he doesn't want to. Um, um, he doesn't want to tell. He doesn't want to have to convince a random stranger that he lives somewhere. Right? Who the fuck are you? You're not security. Yeah, I've, I've done to convince you of jack shit. Right? So they get into an argument, and no one wants to back down, and it escalates to what it escalates to. Right? And then you find out that she has a black boyfriend. I don't know, whatever, right? You find out things and you don't really think there's a, there's a racist tinge in it. There might be a racial profiling tinge there, right? Where she's a bit more suspicious of young black men, which is a bit weird, but whatever, right? But this one in a train, right? Accusing two black dudes of sexual assault is... There can only be one, one conclusion there. She wanted to end their lives, right? She felt so, she felt so humiliated, right? with an argument that it wasn't even that big of a deal, right? She wanted to sit down and they were kind of mocking her and he sat down instead and to kind of defuse the situation. She didn't want to lose face. So she decides to accuse him of sexual assault. It's like, whew, insane, man, insane. So yeah, so supposedly she's been fired from her job as this guy mentions on the video. And yeah, I'm assuming her name's going to get dragged in the mud. We're probably going to see her appear on Good Morning Britain or something. I can't wait to hear what Piers Morgan's opinion on this whole thing is. Maybe because, you know, he's always loving to say the most contrarian view. But, you know, maybe he might side of it and go a bit more harder. But again, I don't know, man. Makes you question the sanity of humanity sometimes. But I guess in some respects, you know, for every hundred people that you get, you're going to get, uh, you know, you're going to get one or two fucking idiots who are going to do things like this. But I think for the most part, we're generally good people.